Hello everyone, welcome to Life Cannot Wait, it's spelled W-E-I-G-H-T, a YouTube site and blog site for those of you who have had weight loss surgery or if you are considering having weight loss surgery or you're just on another weight loss path altogether. Maybe it has nothing to do with weight loss surgery. You may be trying another method and, and it all boils down to similar and same things. And so I just want to thank you for joining me again. Hey, I want to show you something. And I know all of you all know what this is. Oh yeah, Krispy Kreme. Now I live in the South and, and, and of course in the South, um, they're actual Krispy Kreme stores where the light is red and when the donuts are coming off the conveyor belt and they're hot, that red light flashes. Well, the reason you may be saying, Angela, why are you talking about Krispy Kreme donuts on a weight loss site, particularly a weight loss surgery site? Well, I wanna tell you all, some of you are not patting your back, yourself on the back enough. You know, um, different support groups that I, I am in and, and groups on Facebook and even, you know, uh, just talking to other people who have weight loss surgery. I hear a lot of this. This is what I hear. Man, I'm just not, it's not coming off as fast as it was. And, you know, I'm, I'm not at the, my goal weight and, and I don't, I don't look how I want to look. And, you know, this, this person, they had weight loss surgery and they lost weight quicker um, what's wrong with me? Or maybe I shouldn't have done it, you know? Or, oh God, I slipped and I ate something and I shouldn't have. And you know what? Self-pity is, is, um, interesting. You know, I, I am not, um, uh, immune to it. I like to waddle in it every now and then myself. But, you know, I had an epiphany. The other day I had a coupon uh, for Krispy Kreme donuts. You know, it's just a treat. And so I told my husband, I said, hey, let's swing by Krispy Kreme and get some donuts. Now, 140 pounds ago, when I was at 318 pounds, this here, this was a dozen of glaze. Yummy, yum, yum. I would have eaten this whole dozen, no lie, within a 24-hour period, within a day. You know, and I know I'm not alone. I know some of you may have done the same thing, and if you didn't eat the whole dozen, you ate at least half a dozen by yourself in the privacy of your own room. And, and hey, let me tell you how I was, I was really getting down, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Honey, I had to have the Krispy Kreme along with pralines and cream, honey, Baskin Robbins ice cream. Nice size one. And you eat those hot, those hot glazed donuts with that nice, good ice cream, honey, hallelujah. It was like heaven, at least I thought. Turned out to be hell on the hips, on the waist, on your heart, and your cholesterol. Now, I am not against Krispy Kreme. As a matter of fact, love Krispy Kreme donuts. But here's the thing now, and this is where I had the epiphany a few nights ago. So, as a matter of fact, we got the donuts last weekend, okay, a week ago we could go today and when we got them I had just one I had one and then we were riding back home I told my husband I said honey because the coupon it was buy one dozen uh, get another dozen free so we got two dozen donuts okay and that day riding home I just had one and that was it then that night I was watching TV and the thought crossed my mind hey get another donut or and I said, no, I already had one. To myself, now I'm talking to myself. The next day came Sunday. Hey, it's Sunday, get a donut. Again, my mind told me, I said, no, I don't want one. A whole four days went by before I indulged in another yummy Krispy Kreme donut. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I want you all to look back from where you started. Particularly some of you all, you've just gotten on this journey. And you're like, look, I'm just so anxious for all this weight to fall off, you know, and, and, and you're just, you're, you're just driving yourself crazy because you think it should fall off overnight. Look, you're not eating a whole dozen like you used to. And for those of you who may have fallen off the wagon and started eating more because your stomach is a pouch and it can be stretched and you stretched it out more, hey, cut the pity party and just realize how far you've come and move forward. And to make a lot, we still have donuts. A week later, we still have a bunch of donuts in my refrigerator. 
I'm not going to give my kids all of them. My husband may eat one. But, and I haven't had, and, and then, okay, so I had one on that Thursday. I may eat another one on Sunday. But the point is, people, it wasn't a whole dozen. It was one. And the same for you. You all, you know, I read some of your entries and you're, you say, you know, well, Angela, you know, I've, I've started eating again. Let's get to the root of why you're eating. And now being that Thanksgiving is this week coming up is a great time to start reflecting on what is eating at you that's causing you to eat. Look, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I may overindulge, but I have to realize it's not what it used to be. And you have to realize that too. At the end of the day, people, I don't care if you've lost only five pounds. That's five pounds that you have lost. So what, what is the whole point of this? This Thanksgiving season, you have a lot to be thankful for. And we all have things that we can complain about and be unhappy. And some of you have suffered some tremendous losses. You've lost loved ones. You've lost jobs, homes, um, not just lost to death, some of you. Some of you all, some mates may have left or boyfriends or girlfriends. But I'm telling you, I was reading something in, on the Huffington Post and it was incredible. And we're gonna talk about this next time. Um, it was, and, and, the, and the writer, her name was Tamara Starr. And she wrote some, an article called The Seven Habits of Chronically Unhappy People. That totally caught, caught my eye for one reason because I'm telling you, I am a pessimist to the heart. My husband is optimistic, okay? We could be broke as a joke and he will still find something funny. In me, I'm stressed, I'm worried, I'm out of sorts. I'm, 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 I'm cursing the day I was born, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going through. And he is a chronically happy person. And Miss uh, Starr from the Huffington Post wrote the, the Seven Habits of Chronically Unhappy People. And I had to really take a look at myself and realize I'm so unhappy many times because I'm so hard on myself, because of what I'm telling myself. And even that day when I had the epiphany, when I was sitting there with those Krispy Kreme, instead of me saying, Angela, you've come a long way. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, man, I'm down to, you know, I went from 318 to 170 something. I've had two kids and, and I just want to lose 15 more. Instead of saying, you know what? Yes, Angela, continue to work hard to lose the remaining 15 pounds. But you've done great. You don't eat a dozen donuts anymore. But instead, I didn't rejoice in that like I should have. You understand what I'm saying, people? And the same for you. I'm not saying be in denial and be oblivious to the fact that yes, we need to get healthy and fit. But what I'm saying is your healthy and fit may not look like someone else's. So stop comparing yourself. Stop beating yourself up because you had a bad night and you overindulge. Pick yourself up and get back onto the bicycle and keep trying to ride to your destination. It's just like uh, one young lady was saying that her boyfriend of two or three years just rolled out on her and left her. Well, hey, let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split your brethren. Hey, if he's gone, it's for a purpose. Don't sit there and overeat and indulge. And I'm not judging you because, hey, I've been there. I've been in bad relationships or just relationships that was good and turned out that the joker couldn't handle it for whatever reason and left. And that's when I started using, not started, but I would fall into that cycle of if I'm hurt, if I'm angry or sad, I'm using food to medicate as well as to punish myself. So, hey, I'm going to go over quickly. We're going to talk at the next recording about the seven habits of uh, chronically unhappy people because that was an excellent article that Ms. Starr wrote and it's really going to help you too. But what I want to say to you now is look, look back sometimes. Look back. You see how I look back at my old Krispy Kreme? Again, I'm not saying don't eat Krispy Kreme, but hey, you're not eating the whole dozen anymore, people. Okay, you had a bad night, you had a bad day, you overindulged, or you didn't exercise. Hey, there's always the next second, God willing. It's not over. People used to say it's not over to the fat lady sings, well, honey, there is no more fat lady, no more fat man. We're not going to use that expression. It's not over until it's over. And when is it over? When you're in that grave. So as long as you are alive and breathing, people, look. It's okay. You didn't eat the whole dozen. And maybe you did eat the whole dozen this time. Get up. 
dust yourself off, say, hey, I failed, I made a mistake, I gotta keep it moving. And you can do it, you all. We're doing it one step at a time. You have to be, you can't be your worst enemy anymore. You gotta be your best friend. You gotta encourage yourself because there are gonna be times on this journey that there is no one there to encourage you and you must encourage yourself. So, hey, you've come a long way, baby, and you're going further. The best is yet to come. Hey, life cannot wait. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.